Okay, so welcome back. This is Maya, and today I have a very special guest. Her name is Patricia Thompson, yes. also known as Dr. T. And Dr. T is actually the founder of Food as Medicine, the Dallas Summit and Expo that will be taking place next year. That's um, April 24th and 25th of 2020. So welcome, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here, Maya. Thank you for having me on your show. Um, we have a lot to talk about. I know. Um, let's talk a little bit first about the summit, and then let's go back and okay. learn a little bit more about who okay. you are. So um, tell us what's happening next year in April. Okay. So we are having the first ever uh, Food as Medicine Summit and Expo here in Dallas, Texas. There hasn't been anything like that in the North Texas area, and that's why we're so excited to bring this. Um, this great opportunity for people to hear from the experts in nutrition and to meet people that are in the business here in the Dallas uh, Fort Worth area uh, with their products, their services. Uh, we have a great lineup of people coming to speak and we have exhibitors and we'll have social events so people can get the social support and get the nutritional information and meet others um, that are interested in uh, health and wellness in their lives. That sounds amazing. It's, it's such an, a huge project that, um, that you're taking here, mm -hmm. that you're taking on, and I can't wait to hear how you're making it all happen. So, um, Dr. T, where are you from? Are you from Dallas? Well, as you could probably tell from a little bit of my accent, I am originally from the East Coast. I'm from New York. Um, that's where I was uh, born and raised there, and I went to school in upstate New York, Plattsburgh, State University of New York at Plattsburgh, where I got involved in environmental science and biology, and then decided that I loved that so much that I wanted to continue on. So I went to, um, moved to Texas, packed up my little Toyota Tercel, and drove my, myself to Texas and started uh, my doctoral pr program at uh, University of North Texas and studied um, environmental toxicology, mm. biological sciences. And then I went, after I graduated there, went to work for the Environmental Protection Agency and then worked for the Department of Health and some private consulting um, companies. And then something crossed my path one day and um, I saw an ad in the newspaper. They needed an executive director for an environmental education organization locally. And I thought, wow, wouldn't that be so cool to do something like that? and um, decided to uh, go for it. My husband was like, go ahead. Yes, take one eighth of your pay that you're making right now. And that's how I got involved in the nonprofit sector. Um, wow. So that's kind of a little bit of my background. Wow, that's amazing. And how did you get on this path of being um, promoting plant-based nutrition and teaching the courses that you've been teaching? Mm -hmm. And you also have ba um, a background with uh, Dr. Neil Barnard's mm -hmm. program, Food mm -hmm. for Life. Mm -hmm. So how did all of yeah. that happen? Um, so, you know, I have, to, I have to go back to my father because um, I have to give him all the credit. He's no longer here, but at age 59, he had a quadruple bypass. And then um, they said that we'll give him another 11 years, and it did. And on his 71st birthday, he had another heart attack, mm -hmm. and um, he succumbed to that five days later. And from that point on, I was, you know, terrified of my genes, thinking that I'm going to follow in his footsteps. In fact... At the age of 41, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure and high cholesterol, and they put me on uh, blood pressure medicine and statins and said, it's your genes, so you're just going to have to accept that. And I just, I just, I did because I believed the doctors, um, right. and that's really all they had to offer me at the time. So uh, with that being said, we were, me and my husband were in the car one day, and I was on those for several years and never really seemed to significantly lower my cholesterol and um it, they weren't they were not cures they were just pills to keep the status quo never really completely relieving me of high cholesterol and never really leaving me free of high blood pressure but just kind of masking the real cause of that and just happened to hear dr Furman on the radio one day um, when we were in the car and we were just both so impressed that we pulled over at the next exit and went to a Barnes and Noble and bought his book. And then I went home and read it from cover to cover. And I just, I felt like someone had just told me there's no such thing as Santa Claus because that book, you know, just pulled the blinders off of me and showed me what the true 
um, scientific information is behind for our nutrition that you know eating meat is not good for us eating dairy is not good for us that there's lots of foods that I was eating that was causing inflammation inflammatory responses and causing weight gain and all of the ailments that I was su beginning to suffer from um, mm -hmm. so that's really kind of where I started my journey is um, is understanding everything I could get my hands on about nutrition and really the science behind nutrition, not just what the television tells us, which they tell us a lot, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that's not where we should be getting our information from. Right. Um, so from there, I started reading a lot and then I realized that I could get certified. So I applied to the E. Cornell um, online nutrition class, plant-based mm -hmm. nutrition class, and went through that program and then still wanted more, went through the Ruby Culinary Institute online program, and I still wanted more. And then I found the Neil Bernard uh, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicines uh, Food for Life program. So I applied for that, got accepted, went through that program, and then I never looked back. I really love teaching people about nutrition, opening people's eyes, and seeing the lights go on in their um, minds about, mm -hmm. wow, I always thought this, but now it's really this. And um, that's just very rewarding and just hearing people's testimonials about how this this kind of eating and this kind of diet can change that did change their life and kind of reverse their disease and all of that so wow and so as actually you being a scientist and having your background when you started to read this information and the science behind nutrition mm -hmm. did it did you feel sort of, um, did you question why you didn't know this before? Mm -hmm. or what came to mind? Yeah, I mean, the same, I just felt like I was being told a lie all along. That, you know, I thought, and my father was told, oh, eat lean meats, um, you know, no fat, you know, low fat, and get a lot of exercise. And so he ate, you know, lean chicken and skim milk and skim cheese, mozzarella cheese, because he was Italian. He still loved his Italian food. But <laughs> oh, well, as long as he's putting skim milk based right. mozzarella on his food <laughs> with his low fat turkey, ground turkey, he's doing really well. Well, no, that's not true at all. And that's what really, um, it just, I, at first I had a, a bit of anger. And then I had, I had to go through kind of a grief period in, in, in mourning the way that I looked at foods and, mm. and having to embrace a whole new way of looking at the food I eat. And mm. to tell you the truth, like all my life, I've never been really that excited about eating. I, we would eat and my stomach would hurt all the time, but I just thought that that was normal. You know, not, never really understood. And this whole, at the moment that your stomach was hurting, was mm -hmm. that, what What were you eating? Is this prior to uh, becoming plant-based? Yeah, this is, okay. you know, eating the lean chicken and the hamburger. And, um, you know, I never was really a big fan of hot dogs, so I didn't really eat those too much. But right. just anything with cheap pizza, you know, would just tear my stomach up. Mm -hmm. um, I ate yogurt every single day for, I don't know, my entire life, it felt like. I would eat ice cream. Um, none of that agreed with me and I never really liked meat to begin with. Thanksgiving was, I really liked the sides anyway. Um, steak just didn't thrill me. Mm -hmm. And so I never was a really big fan of meat cause it just never agreed with me. So sure. that's kind of how yeah. I realized, wow, the way I was eating was hurting me and I never really identified the sign. I thought it was just something else. I never related it. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, that's because I'm eating the wrong food. I just right. thought that there was something that's just the way I was built. And isn't it amazing, though, that expression that um, that goes uh, something to the effect of you never know how bad or how sick you are until you start to feel better. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like I would hear people make the comments about feeling sleepy after lunch or mm -hmm. after dinner. And I stopped eating red meat and pork in college. So mm -hmm. I could never identify with that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't. Why would you feel sleepy after lunch or after <laughs> after a meal? Right. Um However, I too notice improvements in my own mm -hmm. health after I cleaned up my diet as mm -hmm. well. And so it is true. You never know mm -hmm. how bad you're, how bad you really are until mm -hmm. you start to improve, yes. until your health starts to improve. Yeah. So then you managed, um, you fell upon Dr. Furman's book and mm -hmm. then you managed to lower your, um, your cholesterol mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, you, you cleared your hypertension. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. reduce your blood mm -hmm. pressure. Mm -hmm. And then, um, did you notice weight loss as well? Or? Oh, yes. Um, I wasn't ever heavy to begin with, but I noticed, you know, like seven, eight, nine pounds just kind of dropped off right. of me that I'd just been carrying. And it was a weird kind of weight loss. It was kind of all over. 
I felt like my head actually got smaller. <laughs> my shoulders, my hands, my wrists, just everything just kind of just, I think it was a lot of water and, and probably a lot of toxins that were just kind of staying right. in my body because I wasn't eating a lot of um, fiber, which is, that's the number one thing that we should really focus on. Mm -hmm. The fiber is really important to, for flushing everything out and pushing all that bad stuff out. And it really does help reduce inflammation, doesn't it? Oh yeah, like, and I noticed The swelling that, and especially, everything. Especially yeah. um, my joints. And I just think about all the things that I, had happened to me before then, um, like my back. I've had a lot of issues with my back, and I just wonder whether the way that I was eating was causing a lot of inflammation, which was causing mm -hmm. a lot of back problems, and um, sure. my hands started getting achy, and um, I had irregular periods, and there's just there were so many. And I used to break out. I started developing cold sores on my lip which I never used to have. When I switched the diet, I have never had another one. Wow. Um, so there was just so many things, like my face does not break out unless there's some oil or something in a product that somebody doesn't tell me that it's in there. Right. <laughs> the next day, my face tells me the truth. It says, oh, you <sighs> have eaten something that you shouldn't right. be eating. Did I ever um, tell you that happens to me? Does it? Yes, yeah, like I don't deal with the weight problems. Mm -hmm. And I don't know which is worse, you know, because I don't deal with gaining weight. Mm -hmm. I break out. You do. So if I have something too greasy, especially mm -hmm. when we're traveling, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, I feel, I mean, it's mm -hmm. on my face. And it's more embarrassing on the face, you know? So yeah. I too notice the clear up. So now, um, I met you last year when you were doing a demo, and I've watched you since do mm -hmm. demos, and I really like your way of presenting, mm -hmm. how you explain things, you're very organized, and, and I saw you at a presentation, and you went by Dr. T, mm -hmm. and so, and you were wearing your Food for Life mm -hmm. apron, mm -hmm. and I liked you right away. Mm -hmm. I think I told you, like, I really like you. I, <laughs> I like how you present, because I'm also a former teacher, educator, mm -hmm. so I kind of think like an educator, mm -hmm. like how you organize and present yourself, and you seem very very confident, especially with your cooking skills mm -hmm. and food prepping skills. So I've taken your Instant Pot um, course oh, yeah. and we've collaborated together and you've done a food demo after one of our talks. And and so we're looking at other ways of collaborating. Mm -hmm. um, how what what do you see in terms of continuing i know we'll get to the summit mm -hmm. but what else do you see yourself doing and what are you doing that you offer mm -hmm. uh, to the public? Thanks. Um, I liked you too the first time I met you. Uh, I thought you were really, you just had so much energy and you were obviously so dedicated to helping people understand um, that you know you really can improve your health through nutrition and you and Dr. Riz um, have done so much already for the community holding all your classes and so I Thank think you. that we're all in this together and mm -hmm. that's really the the reason why I wanted to put the summit together is to bring everybody under one roof because everybody's doing all these great things and it'd be nice just to kind of celebrate what everybody's doing for a couple of days in the year everybody's together everybody's sharing information and hopefully we'll have a lot of new people coming in and that's mm -hmm. really my goal for my classes is to get out into the community and bring this information to whoever wants to listen I never want to force anybody um, but if you're receptive and you're interested in, you know, improving your health, um, making great strides in, in your health and wellness and your mm -hmm. family and your friends, then, um, then I want to I wanna talk to you and I want to teach, you know, you everything that I've learned and show you. And you were talking about my classes and I really, mm -hmm. I've always been that way as a learner. I like to break everything down to the simple forms and make it very simple. And then from there, once you know your foundation, then you mm -hmm. can build and get fancier, even with your cooking. Um, this doesn't have to be a complicated way of eating or living. Mm -hmm. It can be very, very simple from just opening up a can of beans and heating a potato up in the microwave to you know making a seven layer lasagna with cashew nut cheese and mm. all kind and homemade sounds marinara delicious. sauce which sounds actually <laughs> good um so i i really like to take it from soup to nuts um and really show people step by step um how you do things and so right. i offer all kinds of classes i'll, I'll do community-wide classes i'll do private classes private coaching um phone calls via uh, Skype or in person. I really am um, I'm in favor of being one-on-one -on -one with people and seeing people um, in person So I do like to do that. I do like to have my classes mm -hmm. and I'll be doing classes now from now until the summit I'm doing a whole series of free classes. I'm also offering courses. I'm partnering with Dr. Riz on a few mm -hmm. um, so we'll be 
um, bringing this message to anybody who wants to hear it um, throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. That is so exciting. I think that's one of the things that we feel, um, you know, myself, you see mm -hmm. it as well, Dr. Riss, is that we see that there are people that are plant curious, mm -hmm. but they need support yeah. and they need, um, you know, we don't expect anybody to transition overnight, mm -hmm. um, but there are things like the potlucks. You'll be having potlucks as well? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, we do the walks and mm -hmm. we give cl classes or lectures mm -hmm. and things like that, but you helping to bring the community together with the summit is incredible. I mean, we fly to various states just mm -hmm. to attend a conference with Dr. Esselstein or Dr. Yeah. Neil Barnard, mm -hmm. and yet you're bringing, mm -hmm. well, let's talk about that. Um, who are you bringing to okay. Dallas? That's what's so exciting, because I think that there are some people that can't travel and can't go to all these different places, and mm -hmm. it's this was a great opportunity to bring all these experts here and not only watch them on the you know on some video tape and or read their book but actually hear from them in person which is really much more impactful when you're hearing from somebody directly and you're yes. listening to their words that message is going from that person directly to your ears there's no middleman you know there's no book there's no video there's no laptop it's just very personal so the opportunity for everyone and i hope people recognize this as an opportunity and maybe mm. a once in a lifetime mm -hmm. opportunity for many people is to be able to heal, hear from these founding um, mothers and fathers of the whole nutrition um, revisit basically looking at nutrition from its bare basics and why it's important to really pay attention to what's at the end of your fork mm -hmm. and to eat what the earth gives us it, its plants um, that's what we should be focused on and so who we have coming is Dr. Neil Bernard, um, who is just one of my idols, and he, he has a big fan base. Um, he's written <laughs> many, many books. Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, who another, another god in my mind, um, who can do no wrong. He's done so much right for so many people and has shown the way. Um, and he, they both are published authors. Um, they both uh, walk the walk and talk the talk, which that's what's important is yes. not these people are up there telling you what to do and then they go home and eat them yes. eat a hamburger. This these is are not a fad diet right. or anything like that. This yeah. is a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. It's mm -hmm. not even the word diet. You know, you, you we we use it but we we don't we both don't like it because mm -hmm. it's not really a diet um, refers to something that you're doing for a short time frame. Mm -hmm. And this is really a lifestyle change. You're changing the way that you're looking at food, the way you prepare food, the way you mm -hmm. eat it, mm -hmm. um, everything about it. And so uh, then we have, um, we have Brenda Davis, who's mm -hmm. a registered dietitian and who is just one of, you know, really excellent speaker and everybody will learn so much from her. Right. We have Dr. Um, Riz Bakari, who is a vascular surgeon here, practices in the DFW Metroplex and he is plant-based. Um, and also married to this beautiful woman. Oh. Um, and <laughs> he is you. just, he's, he's making it happen. Mm -hmm. And then we have Dr. Michael Clapper, who is another oh, individual yes. who is really doing an outstanding job in helping medical students um, understand nutrition so that when they get out to be practicing practitioners, that they will use the fundamentals of nutrition in helping their patients um, cure whatever it is that they mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. um, so let me see. A clapper. Oh, we have um, Dr. Brooke Goldner, um, who cured her lupus uh, by adopting a plant-based diet and wrote a great book, wrote a couple of books now. Um, so we're excited to have her mm -hmm. here as well. Thomas Tadlock, who is a fitness um, guru, he will talk about the importance of eating a plant-based diet and being fit um, yes. physically. Um, we also have uh, Susan Voison, who is a very well-known blogger. Um, and really kind of did blogging before anybody really did all these other podcasts and websites and uh, chat groups, uh, the fat-free vegan she's known by. And that's really the first, one of the first resources I used to uh, develop um, my menu for the day. Uh, she has great food choices and great recipes on her website. Oh, and Matt Frazier. I forgot That's about right. Matt okay. Frazier, no meat athlete. He yeah. will be joining us as well. We're excited about that. We really want to do have a have we want to have a fitness track. So okay. um, people that are interested in fitness and changing their diet to a plant based diet um, can understand the impact of mm -hmm. uh, adopting a plant based uh, mm -hmm. lifestyle and how that really will help them become more fit uh, yes. in their fitness journey. So yeah. So Dr. T. 
So I've been in Dallas, I don't know, maybe going on seven years or so. And I've now been plant-based about three, but for about five years, I was already kind of becoming exposed to this Mm -hmm. content, this information. And I bring that up to say that in those five years, in the time that I've been really in Dallas, I've seen in the, in terms Mm -hmm. of plant-based nutrition, this Mm -hmm. growth, like people, restaurants, um, everyone just taking Mm interest. I say everyone, I'm exaggerating, but more people than before. And I find that to be impressive, especially the last two years. Mm -hmm. It's just people have been turned on to this information, Mm -hmm. this way of life. Um, So you have nutritionists and yogis and and doctors. Mm -hmm. Um, We recently met another doctor that's plant-based and it's just like we all want to come together Mm -hmm. and that's what the summit will do for us especially because Dallas, um, you know, people may still think of cowboys riding um, on horses here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what people think. They still do, but, but not like It's such a city. large <laughs> city, and it's yeah. so advanced in so many ways, so it makes sense that plant-based nutrition will now be mm-hmm. part of that mm-hmm. as well. So the conference, it just makes sense that the conference will be here. So yeah, I I'm think, really excited that you're doing that. Yeah, I'm excited that, I mean, you're helping so much too. I mean, there. It, this is a team effort because we have some great people that are working behind the scenes to mm-hmm. help make this all happen. It's not from one single person. This is really a team. And that's what I love is seeing everybody come together and yes. everybody's giving their ideas and their resources and, and to make this event um, really wonderful and hopefully that we can do this every year yes. and bring other people that um, are involved in this, in, this, in this work as well. And I agree with you about, you know, a couple of years ago it was it was less visible. And I kept telling my husband, the wave, it's starting, I can feel it. <laughs> and now, you know, I just was in Whole Foods the other day, not to give a plug out to Whole Foods, but maybe they could be a sponsor. Um, but I was in Whole Foods and I actually got my phone out and started taking pictures of the cheese selection. Yes. <laughs> um, and that it was just astounding. There were so many different choices. There used to be like three kinds of cheese and that was it. Right, But exactly. now with the, all the different brands and everybody's jumping into that. Yeah. Uh, into that that pool which is oh, really great and the, i want to add you will have exhibitors at, and oh, you mentioned yeah. that yeah. um at the summit that means that we'll be able to see some local mm-hmm. individuals business owners maybe yeah. and yeah. and how they support the plant-based movement mm-hmm. do you yeah. want to tease us give us a little tease about that uh, yeah so we have um we, we're already starting to sign exhibitors up um so they can have a display area and then there'll be opportunity for all the attendees to kind of mm-hmm. stroll through the uh, exhibition hall and visit with all of these um, plant-based or holistic or health and wellness-based mm. vendors that offer services, products, and we won't just it won't just be local. Um, we're hoping to have some nationally known exhibitors as well. Ooh. So this will be really great opportunity for people that are familiar with this or not familiar with this to meet others that are doing this um, as a business and want to really uh, shore up the um, the products and services that are offered for people that are interested in 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 having this kind of lifestyle yes and we want to mention your YouTube channel it's uh, food ass medicine mm-hmm. it was is it just food ass medicine Texas I think so <laughs> <laughs> the website is foodasmedicinesummittx.com. Right. And then you're on social media as well yes, uh, for the summit. Media. So as we're preparing material and as you begin to share who the mm-hmm. speakers are and everything, you'll upload to all of mm-hmm. these uh, mm-hmm. social media and websites. So your Facebook for the summit also is mm-hmm. is what? Food as medicine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then also for Instagram, so right? I can't but, remember my phone number, so that's <laughs> the problem. So we're going to have to put so, this on the, on, yeah. the, on the thing. On we'll the description on, or something, yeah. we'll share all so of that So I did well. want to say, so my company's name is TS Wellness, and that's who's officially putting on the, the summit. Um, but we also have our, our, our title sponsor is um, Food Saved Me, and they oh, offer yes. cooking classes mm-hmm. as well. And um, Catherine Lawrence Ireland uh, stepped up to be the first sponsor, and I'm forever in her debt. Um, and she helps secure Dr. Neil Bernard, which I'm forever in her debt for that. Yeah. Um, so she's going to wow. have, she's going to be one of the exhibitors. Um, we also have Salad Master is going to be another exhibitor. And then we have another holistic doctor that's going to be an exhibitor. So it's going to be very varied. 
it's not going to be all people that prepare food or all people mm -hmm. that do one type of service. We want to have some a representation from all the different areas of um, of holistic health and health and wellness. Awesome. And I feel like I know Catherine Lawrence, or at least I know her story because mm -hmm. Dr. Barnard includes oh um, her story in his yeah. presentations. She does so, have wonderful stories. Yeah. So go, what go, a, go to her website, foodsafety.com. And, um, and well, I'm looking forward to this. Is there um, anything else that we should know about Dr. T? Well, just that um, I left a very nice career last year as an executive director of a nonprofit. I've been um, with nonprofit sector for 25 years. And then last summer, I decided to start a company called TS Wellness, which is dedicated to providing health and wellness opportunities to companies, their employees, making healthy workplaces, and also helping the community at large. Um, so if that's something that anybody would be interested in, is having me come do a lunch and learn, or a breakfast and learn, or mm -hmm. a afternoon snack and learn right. at their company, um, I do those for free. Um, so I would be happy to do that. And if you want to talk to me further about developing some sort of program at your place of business, I can also do that. Okay, that sounds great. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, uh, Patricia Thank Thompson, you. Um, aka Dr. T. That's right. And we're looking forward uh, to learning more about what's happening in, in terms of all the preparations that you're doing from this point on, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of work. You're mm -hmm. staying pretty busy, aren't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, I think so, we all are. <laughs> yeah, and so we'll talk a little bit more, I guess, um, as things progress. And thank okay. you so much, and it's been a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. Yay!